My name is Matani and I'm a second year medical student at Monash University. I'm currently studying the Doctor of Medicine course at Monash and I chose to study at Monash firstly because Melbourne is my home but secondly because Melbourne is the place to be. It is a vibrant city with an, a limitless number of things to do. We have amazing cafes, amazing food, the culture here is impeccable, it's unparalleled anywhere in the world. We have incredible music coming from Melbourne these days. I'm not sure if you've heard of Chet Faker, he's great. And it's even been voted the most livable city in the world for six years straight now. So if that wasn't enough to, to draw me here to Monash, I don't know what else would be. All right, let's go. This is Mr. Brightside Cafe. I worked here during year 11 and 12, and it's a great cafe right around the corner from my house, which makes it super accessible on the way to uni. It's great for a coffee in the morning. Every morning I wake up at around 7 o'clock and I go do some exercise, whether it be at the gym or go for a run at the park or at the beach. Then I get home and get ready for uni. I get to uni at around 9 o'clock every day besides the Tuesday. And I do some work, go to some lectures and shoots and cracks. And I get home at around 7, 5 to 7, and either see my friends, hang out, after such a long day at uni, studying is not really my priority, so usually I try to find something easy, fun, and productive to do, whether it be volunteering, or last night I was at a tel telethon, um, and just, I guess, enjoying myself outside of uni as much as possible. Welcome to Monash University. This is Sir John Monash himself, one of the founding fathers of Monash University. This is our pharmacology building. It's a really important part of what it means to be a doctor, to have a really good understanding of pharmacology and the aspects that it includes. So that's actually going through and understanding the drugs and medications that we administer to our patients, but also the way that the patients may react to those drugs. So these are all human skulls used for anatomy teaching. As you can see, we have quite an extensive collection. And they're invaluable resources. Here we have our MUMIS office, uh, which stands for the Monash University Medical Student Society. And they run a bunch of programs for us, um, give us free food occasionally and they're essentially our student body who represent us to the university. One of the best things about Monash University and what they offer for their actual Doctor of Medicine degree is the fact that it's undergraduate. Yes, you do have the option of doing postgraduate, but they do offer that undergraduate degree, which means that after five years of being at university, you graduate as a doctor. Another great thing about Monash is the fact that it's so culturally diverse where there are people from all around the world studying here. There are endless opportunities to meet people and get involved in different activities that are unique to Monash. Just over here, Monash is actually hosting a summer festival. So there's just music running out throughout the whole week um, so we can soak up this amazing Melbourne weather. So check this out. I just got my vegan blend yogurt, Jay's yogurt. I'm pretty excited. There's got a pretty amazing blend of a bunch of different things, including mango, which really excites me. And I just want to get into it. Right now we're in the center of 
the camp center. Actually, this is where we come for lunch, and um, as you can see, there are a massive number of students here from all around the world congregating to celebrate food. I just had an amazing, uh, what was it, a, a rice paper roll from Rolled, and it was absolutely beautiful. So we're standing here just outside the boob lawn. Uh, the reason why it got its name is because of the big boob in the middle. Um, I should probably call it a breast. As I'm a medical student, I should be using the correct terminology. However, it's not the breast lawn, it's the boob lawn. I'm at uni four days a week. And during those four days, I have eight lectures, each of them going for an hour. I also have two anatomy tutorials, which go for two hours each. One PBL, which is three and a half hours, where we actually get given a case and we have to work through the case and present different parts of the case to each other. Then I also have clinical skills once a week, which is two hours long where we learn the actual hands-on practical stuff behind what it means to be a doctor. Lastly, we have a two-hour tutorial based around what we're learning in health knowledge in society or another aspect of what it means to be a doctor. Melbourne's an awesome place to live. Um, it's a lot of fun. There is just absolutely so much to do St Kilda is one of the cultural icons of Melbourne. Here lies Luna Park with its big open grinning mouth entrance. And it also hosts Ackland Street, an awesome street to spend time with beautiful cafes, lush restaurants and just simply fun bars. Another amazing street which I always have fun at is Chapel Street. In Chapel Street, some of the main places I like to go, which are iconic to the actual place, are Boston Sub and Lucky Cock, which are always great for a night out. And there are some also really great restaurants there. For instance, Fonda, if you, if you like Mexican, and Tokyo Tina, if you like Japanese food. It's great fun and a massive part of what it means to live in Melbourne. All in all, Monash is an awesome university. It's fit for everybody, it's culturally, culturally diverse, and it's just an absolute pleasure to be a student here. Medicine itself is always interesting, always begging you to search more and to find more meaning and find more knowledge and to keep on educating yourself. So if you're a person who likes a challenge, who likes helping people in a very hands-on sense, and also likes all the sciencey and interesting things about that come with being a doctor, come on down. If you're interested in hearing more about the world's top universities, don't forget to subscribe.